Now, on the one hand, the Slovakian government of President Nayib Bukele celebrated, the Salvadorian government of Nayib Bukele celebrated 222nd anniversary of El Salvador's independence with a military parade. And on the other, thousands of Salvadorians, in fact, marched together to air their grievances against the re-election of the president, accusing Nayib Bukele of violating constitutional morality by seeking a re-election. Now, the government civic and military parade featured elite units of the armed forces and the police and showcased a fly past of airplanes and helicopters. The hundreds of opponents, meanwhile, gathered to march to the historic center of San Salvador. The protesters voiced their opinion against Bukele's security policy, which has led to imprisonment of more than 60,000 people. Now, most people are in prison and in pre-trial detention without any definitive conviction. And one of the reasons is, of course, because of Salvador's state of emergency that has come into effect 17 months ago. And it has allowed for the suspension of fundamental rights and the implementation of an iron fist policy against criminal gangs. Estamos aquí en contra de la llamada independencia cuando prácticamente el pueblo se está manifestando al rescate de la nación, precisamente en oposición a la reelección en que queremos vivir en un país con democracia, en un país libre totalmente y no, ¿verdad?, como el clan que actualmente se gobierna. Hay muchos que están muriendo. Nosotros estamos con aquello de el de nosotros estará bien o ya habrá, ya habrá fallecido, porque en muchos casos así se están dando y está saliendo en los medios. Nate Bukele, whose presidential term began in 2019, stated that he could, of course, seek re-election despite the ban in consecutive terms. In 2021, the country's highest court, which is controlled by Bukele's Salvadoran party, ruled that Nate Bukele could, of course, seek a second term.